Today I have something different and new in store for you. New colors, a brown type for eyeshadow and something a little pearly. As always, we'll start with the eyes and come down. I have done my foundation. I used primer, concealers, correctors, the whole shebang, powder and foundation. I did put the primer on and I have primer on my eyelashes so that we could just smooth through this. So we're gonna start with a very simple application and this is a two brush. So if you wanna keep it simple with your eyeshadow, you are gonna love this one. We're gonna start with some matte white, get a nice coat on the brush here. And I'm gonna cover the whole lid. So as I mentioned, I've already put the primer on so that helps us keep the colors true. And I just, you know what, even if you don't put, and see sometimes it, let me blend it in there a little better. Sometimes if you don't put primer on, your colors just end up sitting there, they go off. So even if I'm not gonna put full foundation on my face, I always put primer on if I'm gonna wear any eyeshadow whatsoever, because I just don't see any point in putting it off, it's gonna go off. So I've got the white all around. So the color that I'm most excited about showing you today is this new one. So type four is we don't go to our brown, right? But what if you wanna have a neutral, natural looking eye and you don't really want any color? This is what you want. It is like our deep burgundy color, but it reads kind of like a brown, but it doesn't have a dullness or darkness or richness to it. It just gives you a clean shaded shadow effect. So I'm just gonna use it with the small blender brush. I'm gonna put a little bit here and as always tap on your hand because that color is very saturated, but you can see it's not colored, so it's light. And I'm just gonna put this on the outer third of my eye and I'm just doing the whole, the whole lid. So lash line up to um, brow bone. This is just really, really simple. So grab some for this side, tap, tap, tap. Do this one here. So if I wanted to just look kind of like a nude face, this is where I would stop. So make sure we're even on the brows. So you can put that here. So I would stop with the color. And if I want to do it, just enhance the natural look, you can choose a color like freeze or a, just a nice um, shimmery kind of nude beige color. And I would just do a tiny bit with my finger and just dab, dab that in there. And then you just mascara, you're good to go. Natural, you won't really have color so that you can play with color in your clothes or your lips or wherever to really maximize that contrast without it being too overdone. But we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna go for color. So I've got the two colors on. I think I want to put a little bit more on this side just to blend that. We want to make sure it's even. So once again, this is our outer third of the eye. You can see there, feels pretty good. So I'm going to actually use my finger for this one. So like I mentioned, this is just a two brush thing. So we use the large blender brush to put the white on, the smaller one to put the, the burgundy on. Now I'm going to take my middle finger because our middle finger and our ring fingers are our softest. So they're going to give us the lightest application. I'm just going to tap in this beautiful, purpley, pearly iridescent color. And I'm gonna just right there where your um, your pupil would be under your eye when you close it. I'm just gonna dab that right there. Oh, and this is just super yummy. See that? Ooh, get a little bit on this one. And this complements this dark burgundy so well. Loving it. I mean, Anne gave me these colors to try about a month ago and I have pretty much worn them every single day since I got them. I'm loving them that much. So that's it for our eyeshadow. See how easy that was? Different colors, they're, they're saturated and they're bold, but just with the lightest application, we can have that all or nothing effect. And for this, this kind of feels like the sophisticated nothing. So, but we're gonna take it to a little bit more. We love liquid eyeliners. I know they're like a type four favorite and we have some new colors. And what I wanna show you today is this beautiful green. So this is, is just amazing. I'm gonna put some on my hand so you can see the color really well. It's like green, 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 like Kelly green, true hue green. And I'm gonna just do a light line. So I do have, my hands are a little shaky, but um, if you are really good at the winged eyeliner, this would be such a fun color to play with. I'm just gonna do a light line across just in the lash line. This just gives me that little pinkaboo of color right in here. I don't know why I cannot talk when I put eyeliner in, but I just can't. So 
when you use these, it's not really like a drag across. You're using it more like a stamp. So you're just stamping the color along the lash line. If you drag it, I find that it'll catch in your eye, the eyelid skin, and then you'll get little choppy spaces. But if you just press it down, then you get that perfect little line without it. And then Julia likes to use this as like a template. So she'll, if she does her winged eyeliner, so you get that nice shape and she'll just press it there. I don't really do that because I have a pretty hooded eye, so you can't really see it anyway. But if you've got the space for it, play it up. So that's it for eyeliner. You can see this is so easy, so quick. I'm gonna use our HD mascara and I have already put lash primer on so we get that full volume effect. Oh, this is just so yummy. I'm kind of obsessed. You know, like we get in our ruts and we get what we, or what we really know that we love. And these just really broke me out of it. I was doing the same thing for a long time. And I thought, you know what? These just really give us something new. Something we've never done before as type fours, but it's still so true. You know, it's icy, it's clean, it's saturated. It follows all of our keywords. And then I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on the ends of the lashes down here. If you want to, if you wanted to like use the lash comb, you could just use that to put down here. Um, but we're keeping it simple today. Super simple. So eyes check. Blush, we're continuing the purple down, so we're using our Artist Blush. This is our nice, clean, icy purple. Always tap your blush off because type four blushes are pretty saturated. This is a crossover blush, so it's a little less pigmented. It's kind of a silvery purple when it goes on. We're just gonna follow that cheekbone up there. You know, there's always that like, smile and use the apples of your cheek, but I don't, I don't know about you other type fours. I don't have, <laughs> I don't create that shape. I used to be so confused. I'm like, I smile and look, it's just nothing happens there. It's because we have a parallel cheekbone with our jawline. So that's kind of what you're doing. See that? We're creating that parallel expression. All right, and then sometimes I'll just brush a little bit up here, on here, just to add a little color. Blush done. Now we're gonna move on to lips. So we're also doing crossover lip colors. This is a clean pink. This is called uh, tropical pink. It's just like a medium classic pink. I'm gonna do a thin line. And I like to, um, rather than pointing the lip liner, I like to put it on its side, because that way it kind of bleeds the lip color down into the lip. There you go. Okay. So what makes this lipstick different than ones we've offered before is it's a sheer color. So you have a nice saturated color, but when you put it on, it has a sheer quality to it. So it blends in really nicely. So if you're looking for something that has the stain power of a lipstick with maybe the lightness of like a gloss, but that'll stay all day, this is such a great option because you get nice color. But I don't know about you, I'm not a big fan of super sticky lip gloss. I feel like my hair sticks in it. <laughs> but this doesn't do that, but you still get that light, easy application. This is one you can keep in your purse and reapply throughout the day without having a mirror and worrying about where you got the color and if it's too saturated or in the wrong places. So there you have it. Easy, clean, saturated colors that are new and different. I hope you take the opportunity to break out of your rut, try something new, create a brown type four eyeshadow look. Show us, we'd love to see what you're doing.